So congratulations. Appreciate uh, it. Listen, first back-to-back -back 2015 performance by a Tar Heel since Tyler Hansborough in 2007 and eight. What does it mean for you to keep that kind of company and to achieve it with him in the building? Yeah, I mean, it's just great being in the same conversation as Tyler Hansborough just in general and just to bring it to life. I mean, it's huge. Just growing up as a kid, just watching college basketball, seeing them play. I mean, it's something you never would really think, imagine and think you can do. So, I mean, it was a really special night and, one, well, evening. I want to thank, I mean, Coach May, he helped me all throughout the way, just telling me, just keep going, keep going. So I want to thank him, too. Thank you. Dina King. All right, never mind, Ross. Go ahead. Hey, uh, Armando, what do you think has been clicking for you in the last couple of games? And particularly, can you speak on kind of what Coach May has talked to you about to help you improve and get better over the course of not even this season, but last season into this year? Yeah, I mean, Coach May, y'all know he's a very intelligent player. So just being able to sit down with him and watch film and also just in practice, just being able to learn from him. I mean, it's been helping my game do numbers and he's just been making it so much easier on me and just been simplifying a lot of things for me and it's been great just having him on staff. Michael Coe. Hey Armando, uh, so I know you don't take a lot of long shots but were there any moments out there where you had a heat check moment and um, yeah just that. Yeah I mean definitely towards the end of the game I was popping on a few of those screens uh, trying to get up a few long range shots because we was went up by a lot and uh, Coach May told me to go get 30. So I tried to, but we was kind of like in 2K and I'm more at the bottom. So it was kind of hard, but I definitely was like hunting for it. Thank you. JB Rick. Hey Armando, great game tonight. Um, you had 21 and 17 in the loss to Notre Dame and a lot of the criticism for this team overall has been the energy, the effort and the toughness. Not many can really say that about you considering how you've performed this year. Did you come into this game feeling like you needed to take more of an onus of getting this team to follow your lead and, and, and follow the effort and energy and toughness that you're bringing to the court so you guys could you know, get this dub? Yeah, definitely. I mean, just coming off the tough loss on Wednesday, I mean, I was really upset. And I said in this new year, too, 2022, I would make sure I would be as energized and give my all out there every game. But me being a leader, I had to do a better job of just preparing everybody to match my energy and coach energy, too. And I mean, today we came out and did that. And I mean, it's still a learning process for me. But me being a leader, I got to do a better job of just having us all energized and ready to go. Andrew Jones. Mondo, how rewarding is it for you guys to, A, end the streak against UVA and also do so playing at a, such a high level offensively with the kind of unselfishness you guys displayed tonight? Yeah, I mean, we all wanted that game for just us and, I mean, Justin, too, him transferring from UVA and just me never beating UVA. And it's been like seven games in a row they beat us, and we really wanted to win this game. Coach Lebo, he did a good job uh, on the scout. It was a lot of different looks that we threw at them. And I mean, we just did a good job of executing it. And when we play with energy, I mean, we could be a great team. So it doesn't really matter who we play. We just got to play with energy. Thank you. CL. Armando, you had only scored a combined 15 in, the, in your previous two games against Virginia. What about Virginia was so tough to kind of get going against? And, and how were you able to do it today? I mean, in the previous, I mean, not having bigs that shoot as much as, you know, a Brady or a Dawson, they double team big to big every single time. So, I mean, it's like impossible to really have a great game versus UVA as a big. But this year, our coaches, they did a great job of, um, well, we recruited two bigs that can really shoot the ball. And I mean, Brady and Justin, you can't really help off them. So I got a lot of one-on-one -on -one looks and just that opened up the floor and just allowed us to space out and do better things. Patrick Welter. Hey, Armando, uh, Caleb said that you guys were talking before the game and that you said, you know, I never have a good game against UVA. He said that he told you to get that out of your head. I mean, what did you remember from that conversation and how did that maybe help or impact his performance? Yeah, I mean, uh, coming into the game, I didn't know what to expect from UVA because, I mean, they double team so hard. They make it hard for us bigs to score. So I just told Caleb and RJ, like, we need y'all to be huge this game. So I really didn't know what it was going to be. I told my teammates I can be the best screener or whatever, but I was just going to go out there and play hard and do my best to help us win. But 
I mean, I, I'd be lying to you if I say I would expect to play this good this game, but I mean, it was great. Brendan? Yeah, Armando, just the way you guys played today, you cleaned up things inside, Brady and Caleb stretching the floor, limiting turnovers. How replicable is that formula for you guys going forward? And just sort of how much does that sort of prove to you guys what you did today, that that formula works? I mean, it's encouraging, but um, me personally, and I know the coaches too, not satisfied with it because it's something we got to keep doing every game. We can't just do it one game and then just have a lapse the next game. We can't keep showing flashes. It's getting later on into the season now. We got to all put it together. It's great, but I want to see us do it three, four, five times in a row. Okay, two more, Isaiah and then Mike Topper, and then we'll get Brady Manick in here after Armando finishes. Hey, Armando, going back to Caleb, what's your relationship with him like? How do you guys kind of feed off each other? Yeah, I mean, just, um, well, specifically, just him making that freshman to so sophomore jump i just been just, you know, telling him it's a huge year for him. I mean, Caleb, he's a great player, dynamic, and, I mean, he gave me the ball, so it's kind of like that relationship with a QB and a receiver and just him being so unselfish and just taking his game up another notch has been great. Okay, Mike. Armando, you know, you played with a bit of that uh, the world is yours mentality today, and I saw that tattoo on your leg. What do you think Tony Montana would think of your performance? Hey, it was a classic Scarface performance. <laughs> that was funny. It was a, yeah, it was a Scarface performance, just leaving no prisoners and trying to kill everybody. Thank you. All right, we'll end on that one. Thank you, Armando.